Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Gossip with Nile. Today we're going to talk about the five fashion brands from Gucci to Burberry that have faced scandals. But before we begin, don't forget to grab a cup of tea, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share us with your friends. Number one, the Gucci straight jacket protest. In 2019, the Italian luxury brand Gucci faced a protest again one of their own models on the runway during Milan Fashion Week. Yeah, you heard it right. Model Ayesha Tan Jones staged a protest against the look she was given to display on the runway. A white symbol that resembled a straight jacket. Jones wrote on her palms in black ink, Mental health is not fashion which she held up on the runway. Jones later posted a video of her protest on Instagram with the statement saying, As an artist and model who has experienced my own struggles with mental health, as well as family members and loved ones who have been affected by depression, anxiety, bipolar, and schizophrenia, it's hurtful and insensitive for a major fashion house such as Gucci to use this imagery as a concept for a fleeting fashion moment. It is in bad taste for Gucci to use the imagery of straight jackets and outfits alluding to mental patients while being rolled out on a conveyor belt as if a piece of factory meat. Presenting these struggles as props for selling clothes in today's capitalist climate is vulgar, unimaginative, and offensive to the millions of people around the world affected by these issues. After the show, Gucci posted on Instagram, Uniforms, utilitarian clothes, normative dress, including straight jackets, were included in the show as the most extreme version of a uniform dictated by society and those who control it. They also added the looks designed by the company's creative director, Alessandro Michel, wouldn't be sold. Number 2. The Burberry News Hoodie Fashion House Burberry had to apologize after debauting their latest autumn-winter 2019 collection during London Fashion Week. One of the looks included a brown hoodie with rope ties hanging from its neck. Yes, you heard right. The jumper was designed by Burberry Chief Creative Officer Ricardo Tisci. Model Liz Kennedy, who took part in the show, said her family had been impacted by suicide and that seeing the jumper during her feeding left her feeling extremely triggered. She wrote on Instagram, Suicide is not fashion, adding, It is beyond me how you could let a look resembling a noose hanging from a neck out on the runway. Kennedy also mentioned the horrifying history of lynching that the noose shape represented. Following the backlash, Burberry removed the product and all images relating to it. In a statement to HuffPost UK, Burberry CEO Marco Govetti said in a statement, We are deeply sorry for the distress caused by one of the products that featured in our 2019 runway collection. Though the design was inspired by the marine theme that ran throughout the collection, it was insensitive and we made a mistake. Tishi added, I'm so deeply sorry for the distress that has been caused as a result of one of the pieces in my show on Sunday. While the design was inspired by a nautical theme, I realized that it was insensitive. It was never my intention to upset anyone. It does not reflect my values nor Burberry's and we have removed it from the collection. I will make sure that this does not happen again," CNN reported. Number 3. DNG Racism Dolce and Gabbana founders Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana have found themselves at the center of several controversies over the years for making racist, homophobic, and misogynist comments. However, in 2018, DNG came under fire for posting a series of videos on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for profiles, as well as its Sina Weibo account in China, featuring a Chinese model with her eye intentionally narrowed. The video also pictures the model attempting to use chopsticks to eat Italian food, with the video's narrator speaking in a condescending manner with the sexual's undertones. 
After receiving backlash from their followers and critics, DNG pulled the campaign and issued a video apologizing. They said in the video, We have always been in love with China. We love your culture and we certainly have much to learn. This is why we are sorry if we made a mistake in the way we expressed ourselves. Gabbana added, We will never forget this experience and it will certainly never happen again. From the bottom of our hearts, we ask for forgiveness. Despite their apology, DNG continued to find themselves in hot water over the incident. When offensive and racist comments and messages were allegedly found to exist on Gabbana's social media accounts, both Dolce and Gabbana said their brand and their own social media profiles had been attacked after the comments became public knowledge. Last but not least, Victoria's Secret. In 2018, former Victoria's Secret Chief Marketing Officer Ed Razek had headlines for all of the wrong reasons. In a conversation with Vogue, in November 2018, he made the controversial comment that Victoria's Secret would not cast transgender models because the show is a fantasy. He also stated audiences had no interest in seeing plus-size models on the runway. In the new hashtag MeToo era, the public backlash was hard to ignore, with calls for him to resign. He later apologized in a statement posted on Victoria's Secret social channels, admitting his comments were insensitive. In early August 2019, Victoria's Secret hired its first transgender model, Valentino Sampaio, but Razek resigned in late August 2019. After facing constant public criticism for his remarks and pressure from shareholders and consumers to change the brand image. In February 2020, the New York Times published an in-depth investigation of Victoria's Secret Razek and Victoria's Secret founder Les Vexner, reporting that Razek presided over an entrenched culture of misogyny, bullying, and harassment. Razek has denied all of the allegations made against him. Hope you enjoyed today's gossip session. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and like. Until the next gossip, XOXO.